loud and can alert the person to turn around and screw you over, which for a stealth weapon isn't that great. So the idea is nice, especially since it rewards you for doing your job, which is flanking. At least this has some knockback, and since this has basically the same spread as the soda popper and rewards you for properly playing the class, this weapon goes above, above the soda popper. Poor soda popper. This is childish antics sure aren't paying off. So, hello everybody. This is Zoom Spool here, and as you can see by that beginning clip, the Soda Popper, in Rob the Awesome's opinion, is the worst Scout Primary. Now, I can't, I can't disagree that it does have a lot of flaws, but now I love the Soda Popper, and here's why. Okay, so looking at the stats of the Soda Popper, you see that it fires faster and has a faster reload time. Think about the force of nature. It literally does that. Minus 66 clip size, so it's the force of nature that builds hype. But it also has a different bullet spread, and this hype, as you can see, when full, alt fire to activate hype mode for multiple air jumps, four extras. And obviously, like the force of nature, it reloads its entire clip at once. Now, the reason why I personally love the Soda Popper is the concept. Now, obviously, the Soda Popper is terrible on several maps, but there are a, are a lot of maps that I love it on, especially in the competitive matchmaking beta, which I got a pass to a long time ago. Come out with the v matchmaking valve. Just do it already. Anyways... The Soda Popper is amazing in wide open scenarios. Obviously, you get four extra jumps. And against classes like the Pyro, which is close range, which means it can the Pyro cannot hit you unless, obviously, you don't realize when to use your jumps. It takes a lot of skill with this thing, uh, as Rob the Awesome says. Watch his video on the subject. And maybe you'll learn about the different scout primaries. But the soda popper, it obviously takes a lot of learning, but it pays off once you learn how to use it correctly. Just like the spy, it's an amazing class, well, weapon, once you learn how to use it. Now, the soda popper against. Okay, so I've mentioned pyros. Let's start w with the basics. Other scouts, you get extra double jumps, and as you should know, the scout does very little damage once it gets to further ranges. Now, obviously, the shortstop does a bit of difference, as it f has a lot less damage fall off, but point in case, scouts do less damage to you if you're further away. And guess what this does? Allows you to get further away. Now you have soldiers. Soldiers, what do you do against the soda popper? If you have the soda popper, all you have to do is keep double jumping in the air, touch down for a couple of seconds, and just dodge the rockets. He can do nothing against you. He, she. They can fire a rocket they can fire as many rockets as they want, but if you're nowhere near the ground, they have to hit you directly. And as any soldier player has ever encountered a scout, it's hard unless they don't jump. Next we have the Demo Man. Now the Demo Man is a bit of a different story, as his pills have an arc, they don't just shoot straight forward. So, pills have a lot larger chance of hitting you if you jump into them. And obviously, you're thinking like, what? how could you jump into a pill? That's stupid. Like I said, learning curve. You, 
you will accidentally jump into a pill every now and then. Even if you have done what I have done and played 30 hours in a row with the soda popper, just learning how to use it, only using the soda popper. And then you have the heavy. The heavy is your main weakness, as he uses bullets. And as any of you know, you can't dodge a bullet unless you've drank Bonk Atomic Punch, which in this case you can. But with the soda popper, Assuming that you aren't using the block atomic punch, you can't just dodge bullets. So, the heavy is your biggest weakness, as almost all of his weapons, all of his weapons except for his melee, do damage. The sandwiches don't do damage because they're sandwiches. Anyway... So then you have the Engineer, and once again, the Engineer is a big weakness, but not so much if you know what you're doing, as sentries have a limited line of sight. If you can jump out of their line of sight, or avoid them entirely, it's not so bad, and that's literally the only weapon in the NG's arsenal that is bad against you. Shotgun does nothing. And then you have the medic is, well, let's be honest, the medic can <coughs> just, no. What, what medic would ever kill you unless you're down to like 10 health? The only ranged weapon they have is the syringe gun, and that does about five damage every hit so yeah medics can't do anything against you unless obviously they're paired with somebody which they always will be but medics themselves just no sorry array seven you have nothing on the soda popper anyways now we have snipers and while snipers if they are skilled they obviously can headshot you but the key is you can change your direction with a double jump so all you have to do is keep jumping in a different direction. And what are they, else are they going to use? Jurati, so they can keep missing? Or the, the SMG, just no. You don't use the SMG, just... That will do nothing. It's worse than the syringe gun. And then you have spies. Spies actually are a bit harder. Uh, like the heavy, they have uh, bullets... And the revolver is very accurate and does do decent damage. While the minigun does have some fall off, the spy's revolver does not have fall off. And it doesn't spread a bunch like the minigun. So the spy is your worst competitor if they're smart enough to use their revolver. And now, when it comes to the soda popper, my favorite thing to do is pair it with the critical. As you do... if you move a lot faster. You do mini crits, which means even if you're far away, you still do more damage. And damage taken increased by 10, you're not going to take very much damage. Well, you're going to take one extra damage from a syringe or something. The spies obviously make that a lot worse. But the soda popper's main objective and this is what makes it the best, in my opinion, it's my favorite, the main objective is to be a distraction. The reason why you have the soda poppers to get above everyone and behind. You don't kill with the soda popper as it doesn't do the godlike damage of the force of nature. The soda popper is a distraction item, or at least getting behind them. So many times have I used the soda popper, got behind enemy lines, and just started shooting people, running away, and because I have five double jumps, I could just immediately double jump away, and they can do minimal damage to me. It's a very skill-based weapon, but if you take 30 hours to learn how to use it, <laughs> Just let me tell you, it is great in the right hands. 
Anyway, this is no offense to Rob the Awesome. He's amazing, gentlemen. Check out his channel. Seriously, he's pretty cool. But this has been my opinion. This has been Zoom's Flow. Thanks for watching. See you in the next one. Hopefully.